Good morning, my name is AJ Booker, I'm a freelance educational consultant. I'm going to show you how you can design and make something in 3D printing in 15 minutes. Now I've already set up this PrintBot Junior, so it's all up to temperature and everything's working on it. I built this myself from the kit. If you have the technical skill, I recommend it because you learn a lot about what makes it work and get it working properly. And I'm using three pieces of standard software. I'm using the free version of SketchUp. I'm using the free version of Slicer here. And I'm also using the free version of Print Run. Oh, sorry, Printer Interface. Now this is the software recommended to use with the print bot. And as you can see, it's all working. All does what it says on the tin. So, having got all set up, I'm going to take 15 minutes to design and make from scratch a business card holder to make a little business card stand vertically. Very simple little project. Okay, let's do a time check. We are now 10.48, so we want to finish 11.48, uh, sorry, 10.48, 10.58, 11.03. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is go into SketchUp and create my shape. Very simply, I'm going to go through the stages to do this. Now I'm not going to make you watch this because it would be far too dull for you. So what I'm going to do instead is sign off for now and come back a bit later. 10.48. Welcome back, it's now 10.50 and we have our shape here on screen. I'm just going to run through by going back and forth the stages to create it. So we'll go back to where we started from. Okay, first of all we're going to have a 10mm diameter circle, sorry 10mm radius circle. Added to that, we then add a couple of lines, 15mm off from the centre, a couple of lines, 5mm off from the centre, a couple of lines either end, and we put in two curves, join it all together, and then delete the lines we don't need to leave us this shape here. Then going to extrude this up. Uh, the way we're going to do this, actually, is, is to press the control key so it ends up a proper extra thickness. If not, it goes hollow underneath, which is a pain for trying to cut in. And we go up by 2.4 mil because this is printing in 0.3 layers, so 2.4 is a multiple of that, makes it easy to print. Then a couple more lines across the middle, cut the curves, has to be put in very carefully, up another 2.4. And the last thing underneath was deleting out these lines underneath here. Not sure why, just seems to make it work better. Okay, so there we are. I've explained it to you, I've drawn it, and we still have 11 minutes left, doing good. Right, so we're now going to go into File, and we are going to save this so that we know what's going on. It's going to call this Card Holder, excuse me for the wobble for a second, Card Holder 3, as I've obviously checked this out before I started making it, and it's now saved as Card Holder 3. Right. I've already installed an SDL exporter. So what we're going to do is come out and select everything in our model. Apologies for the wobbly cam. And then File, Export SDL. And save it to the same directory. And it tells us it's exported it, ignored a bunch of stuff, but effectively it's on there. Now, we can close SketchUp at this point. It may ask if you want to save it, it may not. Now, we're gonna go into our next piece of software called Slicer. Slicer is a free piece of software for allowing you to slice it up into slices that the printer can print, otherwise it won't work. So, here's the file here, card holder three untitled. Pick it up, drop it on here, it processes it and it gives us a rough idea of how big it is. About 55 by 55 roughly. We then export the G code back to where we got it from. And that's it. Now you can sometimes have problems with your models. The geometry won't work, won't work properly. If that's the case, then use a program called NetFab, which helps build it. Right now the printer interface program, again this is the standard free software that you get, uh, you can download for the PrintBot Junior, there's nothing, nothing custom here. So, so get that focused, 
load the file, card holder 3, in it goes. And then it's just a case then of pressing print and off we go. Now, if we look at the nozzle temperature, we can see it's at 185. But as soon as we set to print, after it's honed, it'll check if the nozzle is at 200, because it needs to be hotter for the first few layers. And here's our time check, 10.54, so we've got about nine minutes left. Let's see how we do. Honed, temperature of the nozzle is 194, it's going up. As soon as it heats, hits 200, the print will start. Should be another 10 seconds or so. Just to remind you, this is being done in real time, from scratch, from a SketchUp model, all the way to fabrication, 15 minutes. And almost there. Bingo. Off it goes. The first layer tends to smear around a bit. It just puts in the shape that it's going to do the thing inside. This is helpful because obviously if you print something really large, you want to make sure it fits on the bed. It's difficult to focus on this, I'm afraid. Do our best. You'll probably just about see the shape building up now. And once it's done that, it'll start the actual printing. It's telling us it's going to take seven minutes to print. We're just about in time. Now we're not going to watch this and go on for ages. A quick time check. 10.55. So we'll come back later, just before it's finished printing and see it finish off. Thank you. Welcome back. It's 10.58. The printing's going well, we can see the layer here in red that's printing at the moment, and we can see at the bottom here, 54%. And if we have a look, try and get the focus right here, there we are. If we have a look, we can see it's starting to build up the top part of our model. We'll come back to it before it's just finished. Welcome back, it's 11 o'clock, so we've still got three minutes to go. As you can see, printing away nicely, I'll just remind you, we created this from scratch, or I created it from scratch, in SketchUp and then sent it to print in no more than 15 minutes. We're just running up to 98%, finish off the last little bit, and there it goes. We've still got two minutes to wait for it to cool down and then peel it off the bed and test it. So I'll come back in a minute when it's cooled. And this is our final piece. It's quite small obviously, but it does actually work. Few problems getting the blue backing off, you can see I've torn it there, but it works beautifully as a little card holder for a business card. Not easy to do one handed. And there we are. So, ladies and gentlemen, from design to production, 15 minutes. I'm AJ Booker based in Nottingham, UK, and I can be hired. Goodbye.